Hey everybody, so you buy a new home and you love it and you're living in it and seven years later, you get a letter from an attorney and who loves getting letters from an attorney? I don't and I'm sure you don't. But you get a letter from an attorney telling you that their client has either a financial or even an ownership stake in your property. Turns out, after further investigation, that great uncle Luigi owned the property three owners ago with his sisters, and when they sold the property, he never got his cut, and now he wants it. Well, how do you protect against that? Because as the owner, you're on the hook for it. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today, so stick around. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster, and we are fortunate enough today to be joined by Tom Drexler with Sage Title, the greatest title attorney in the world. Tom, thanks for joining us today. Sure, I don't know how I can live up to that billing, but I'm certainly going to try. Well, you have my vote. Thank you very much. Yeah, so Tom, um, we're talking about a pretty important issue in uh, home purchasing, and that's how to protect the home, not from a hazard, like when you know there's a fire or a flood or something like that, but against financial or ownership claims to the property. And it's, it's pretty important. So uh, we wanna talk about this concept of title insurance and why that's important. So can you talk a little bit about sure. what title insurance is? And sure, I think it's important because every buyer, whether you're a commercial buyer or a residential buyer, uh, somewhere along the process, you're gonna be asked to consider the purchase of an owner's title insurance policy. And many folks have never even heard of owner's title insurance or what it is and why you get it. Uh, but So I think it's really important that we kind of have a little basis of understanding of what it is. So first understand what the role of the title company is. Uh, when you purchase your home, uh, the contract's gonna be sent to a title company and the title company is going to do the legal work to transfer the property from the buyer, from the seller to the buyer. Um, and so part of that job is going to involve going to the courthouse and checking the courthouse records there. And, and so that's part of our job and we do it, we do it well, but we know in each and every courthouse, it doesn't matter where it is, um, there are misrecorded liens, unrecorded liens, forgeries within chains of title, heirs that may not, might not have been taken care of in an estate administration. Um, so there's a whole host of reasons, they're just to name a couple, uh, where someone after your date of purchase could come back and lay a claim to the property. Um, and from a attorney's fee perspective, they are fairly expensive to resolve. So that could not only result in you paying an attorney to help resolve the issue, but if the claim was successful, you could lose all or a portion of the property. So the way to protect yourself is through this product called title insurance. And in fact, there's no lender in the world that's going to make a loan to purchase the property unless the borrower or the buyer of the property purchase a po purchases a policy of title insurance for the lender. Right, they require it, right? Yeah. That's, gonna, that's gonna be required. Now, it is optional to, to, to purchase the owner's title insurance policy. And while almost all buyers will insist on purchasing a property, it is an optional coverage. So a couple of things you wanna keep in mind about the purchase of title insurance. Uh, number one, it is a one-time premium. It's paid at the time of the purchase. After you pay that premium, that policy will cover the owner for the entire life of the time that you own the property. So there's no further premiums and you're covered from day one. And again, as we alluded to earlier, in the event that there's an adverse claim, so. Um, I loved your introduction about uh, getting a letter from an attorney because that's usually how it's going to begin. You get a letter from an attorney that there has been an adverse claim or will be an adverse claim made. Um, first and foremost, um, once you uh, open up a claim file with your title insurance company, they will tender a defense. They will appoint attorneys for you to protect you and they will pay uh, for the attorney's fees. But more importantly, uh, if there's a loss, you're covered uh, at least to the purchase price of the property. And I say at least to, if you're buying a commercial type policy, it's called a basic all the policy, you're covered to the level of your purchase price. If you buy a residential policy, most of those will cover not just the purchase price, 
and appreciation as well. Right, and if we talk about appreciation, the average median priced home, for example, is slated to appreciate over the next five years by about $40,000, so that's a big gap and you know, certainly not something that you'd wanna yeah. have to cover yourself. Yeah. So. With regard to the coverage for appreciation, there is a limit. Um, it's 150% of the original purchase price. So for a typical buyer that may purchase a home at 200,000, they're gonna cap out their coverage at 300,000. So if at the time of a loss, it's a catastrophic loss, uh, the even though the property may be worth 350, the policy is only, only gonna cover up to 150% of the original purchase price. So it is an important coverage. Um, it is something that all buyers should kind of investigate. Um, as far as the pricing of it, that's usually the big question. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Tom, how that's calculated, the, the cost involved, because you did mention it's a one-time premium. Right. Yeah. So the cost of the pro uh, uh, policy is a title insurance. The costs are set by statute. So, well, they're not set by statute. I mean, restate that. Maryland is a foul rate state, which means if you're an insurance company and you want to issue title policies in the state of Maryland, you have to file your rates with the Maryland Insurance Commissioner. Now, because of that and because they're public, what we see is most of the major title insurance companies have very similar rates. So what that means for the average consumer is by shopping around for title insurance companies, um, you're not going to find a lot of big pricing difference between the policies. And they're all going to offer the same coverages. So whether you buy a residential policy through company A or company B, you're going to get the same coverages. Now, how is it priced or how's the premium calculated? Well, it's based upon purchase price and the loan amount. Okay, so but but suffice it to say, two identical borrowers come to a title company. They have the same purchase price. They have the same uh, loan amount. You're going to see the same numbers. Right. So, right. Um, but honestly, um, almost all title companies can offer you a, a, a quote for title insurance. We do that all the time. So if any of your viewers uh, want a quote for title insurance, just need to contact Sage Title. Would be happy to get them a quote and let them know what the cost of the policies would be. That's great. Thank you, Tom. So and this this concept is pretty important, but. Uh, I understand there's a great uh, document put out by the Maryland State Insurance Commission. Can you talk about that? Sure I can, because I do think it's important for all buyers to really understand what they're purchasing as far as policy of title insurance, understand the reasons for it and, and why why they buy it. Um, and one of the things that the Maryland Insurance did, Administration did a few years ago is they put out a consumer guide to title insurance. Um, I've read this, I thought it was an excellent job. I think it really explains to, at a consumer level, exactly why you want to have a policy in place. Um, it explains to you the reasons and how it's priced, things like that. So um, it is good because it's a neutral publication. It's put out by the industry or the industry's um, regulator, the Maryland Insurance Administration. And it, so I feel it's a, it's a more useful document um, because it's a neutral document. Great. Thanks, Tom. So listen, if somebody has more questions on uh, title insurance, how can they reach you? Well, um, you can always reach Sage Title. You can call our general office number at 410-821-4510. Um, but you can also send me an email to Tom, T-O-M, at sagetitlegroup.com. Ask me any questions you have. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. That's great. Thank you, Tom. So if you have any questions about this or you have any uh, need for any, any additional information, you can also reach out to me. Again, that's brad at homesbyvesta.com, and you can reach us at 410-821-3122. Everybody, thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon.